Well, it's a big day. Restaurants yep. are open for outdoor dining, and by the looks of it, many people are taking advantage of the opportunity <laughs> to just get out of the house. Yeah, NBC4's Dan Perlman joins us now from outside Grandview Cafe with how things look leading up to the dinner rush. Dan? Yeah, absolutely. You know, things look uh, similar to what they've looked like really all day long. You can see for yourself, a lot of people here, there has been a steady flow of people in and out of here, as both customers and staff tell me they are ready for this new normal. It's the reality in which tables are kept apart. Down here, we typically have 10. We've cut that down to five. There's sanitizer for all. The staff wears masks and wiping down surfaces receives even more attention. Every part that somebody touches is getting extra cleaning. At lunchtime today, you want to add a side of fries anything? Grandview Cafe opened and customers arrived. So I feel like it's a good way to like start the economy back up. All day long, telling me they feel safe. And I don't have an issue with getting back out there and obviously supporting the local business and being around other people. A couple of miles away, however, the patio at Endeavor Brewing and Spirits remains closed. Donor Scott Talmadge telling me he plans to wait and see what practices work elsewhere. Then he'll make a decision on when to open down the road. We're going to keep an eye out, uh, learn lessons that we can, and keep r revising the practices we've already established. That way we can uh, open up as, as cleanly and as safely as possible for everyone. All right. At the Hoffer House, the safety measures are similar to those at Grandview Cafe. The team preparing for a busy weekend ahead, even building a tent just in case it rains, something the customers are glad to see. So I think it was a very good idea. As business in the restaurant industry picks back up in Ohio. Now you may be wondering what the men and women who work in restaurants, you may be wondering about them. At 6 o'clock, what the manager here told me about Grandview Cafe's ability to bring back all of those staff members. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. A lot of people out there. Thank you so much, Dan. A few more reopening dates to mark on your calendar. Starting next Thursday, campgrounds will be allowed to reopen. And the following Tuesday, we're talking May 26 is another big one here in the state of Ohio. The Bureau of Motor Vehicle Offices, public pools, gyms and dance studios can all invite the public back and sports leagues with limited or no contact are allowed to continue as well.